employees protested outside the largest union in the state today. Well, wearing shirts that read, leave team members alone and respect their votes, dozens of station casino employees grabbed signs and picketed outside the culinary union, local 226 today. The people we talked to said their message is simple. About a year ago, our team members of Palace Station and Boulder Station decided to kick out the union. And in turn, the culinary union filed charges to the NLRB against uh, to overturn the team members' decision. Here's how the culinary union responded. Secretary Treasurer Gio Conda Arguello Klein issued this statement. Station Casino says it is organizing a manager and supervisor protest outside the culinary union this afternoon. And this was earlier today on Sunday at 4 p.m. Now, because the culinary union filed charges with the National Labor Relations Board, after investigators reviewed those charges, the federal government issued a complaint alleging the station casinos violated the law. A trial on the complaint starts before an NLRB judge on Tuesday, August 31st. Home. You shall protect me and my family. Nevada is your home. No, it's not your home. You're not even a U.S. citizen, all right? And for heaven's sakes, a lot of people are disgusted and tired of people like you. And it's not your fault. Of course, it's this scumbag union that has allowed all of this to happen, along with the politicians and corporations that are all tied in together. These are all red flags. Everybody, we're here at the Culinary Workers Union protest. We demand this organization to change or dissolve. Yeah, this is me back in August 31st, 2018, where I was one of the very few protesters back in the day warning people about this. Now, of course, the good news is, is more and more people are protesting every other week in Las Vegas, and eventually they're going to be waking up to all this. This is August 31st, 2018. Now look at this. This is one of the largest shills of the culinary union. And by the way, a lot of these people have spread a lot of smears about me. Look at this. We're all immigrants here. Wait, wait, what about Europe? What about the Muslims and Africans into Europe? Yeah, see, they can't answer that. And look at me. I was telling you about how there's conflict of interest. MGM and culinary, the resorts association pushing for these gun bills. You see, they're in the same bed together. This was back in May 22nd, 2021. This one, actually, believe it or not, was in August 11, 2019. This was right just before the pandemic. Can you believe it? How many do you think really know that th such an event like this would occur? Look at this. They're politicians that they keep supporting. Yovana Kinsella, many other ones, like Nelson Uru, who wanted to run for Secretary of State. What a coincidence how he was the only Democrat that lost in 2018. Look at this, a complete reach shill, plays the race card, culinary union whore. You can see she gets funding by these large corporations. She was the biggest shill for Joe Biden. Now you see why they keep pandering to the race card, mass immigration, the unions. You can see how a disaster Biden has been. His approval rating is tanking, but you see it's not just the vote rigging, it's also the fact that they build a base. You can see how these people shill. And by, by the way, she now left Washington and now part of the Sizzlex staffer machine. You see how this whole operation works. And I've actually confronted these people. It's absolutely important that you know who these people are. Now, you take a look at who are these people essentially working for these people. Do you know this woman right here? They just had an event. Yeah, Latino community hit Laxalt and infrastructure stands. Oh, please. How do we know this infrastructure is actually gonna go to infrastructure? It's all propaganda, fear mongering. Oh, for workers' rights, bad for families. And by the way, I'm not a fan of Laxalt. I've heard a lot of nasty things about him. 
like I said, they're using this as an illusion of choice. And by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if Laxalt is a plant to make sure that Cortez Masto actually wins re-election. Keep this in mind. Many of you also need to understand who this woman is. Take a look at this right here. This is the same woman, as you can see, who's meeting up with Cortez Masto. It's all a machine. There you have it, Cecilia. This is the same woman who's been smearing about me regarding the events that happened in the library. Mi Familia Vota, Culinary Union. They're all in the same machine. They're working together. You need to expose them. And they're all tied with the deep state, the large casino elites, these scumbag politicians. Like I said, this is the woman right here. They're all interconnected. They're all trying to bring me down. Well, eventually the truth is gonna rise up and we're gonna finally understand what's going on. Look, this is her right here, smearing me, giving me misleading information. Ooh, he got arrested. Ooh, he was causing trouble. But like I said, all they ask is to explain, well, what did I do wrong? And you talk about BLM, police being aggressive, but yet you use your force against a non-european individual double standards you're a big joke look at this scumbag union right here look at this culinary union they look they're smearing me right now gross with women aggressive look folks i'm gonna start suing these people honestly this tweet is unavailable by culinary union i've showed you how they play the race card they are the anti-white racists Cecilia, the same girl from right here, you can see she's out there pushing Dina Titus to give amnesty to illegal aliens. It is all about control. This guy right here, I'll do a video about him, Craig Valdez, he blocked me on Facebook because we know they're exposing their lies, their deception, their double standards. Look at this right here. In 2012, Review Journal, Glenn Cook interviewed two illegal immigrants who said that the culinary union pressured them to vote. How do we know if they're all legally a US citizen? Look at this right here. Then they try to sue me for the banners I make. Remember this? They're a bunch of scum. They're absolute garbage trash. I wonder how they found my email. Look at this right here. They're in threat because of automation. So in the long run, it's gonna be game over for them, no matter what they try to push. It's okay for you to have racial preferences. They block me because of this. Look at this right here. Las Vegas has the highest rate of illegal aliens. Look, it's even more than San Diego, which has 50% more in population and closer to the border. How do they explain this? The One of the highest rates of illegal immigrant share of births. This is alarming. Why are we having these statistics? Why are we having these illegal aliens essentially in our society these demographic changes percent illegal in u.s born children of illegals in public schools nevada is among the highest folks these are all red flags during the pandemic nevada had the highest percentage of unemployment rate Ooh, there's something fishy going on especially when these casinos are disproportionately hiring them it's a operation Think about it. The Harry Reid machine right there, pushing him to get votes. How do you think this scumbag got reelected? You can argue voter fraud, but he built a political machine. He knew that he's not doing very well with the masses. So what did he decided to do? He decided to import massive numbers of immigrants so he can get the replacement votes to get him elected. Harry Reid's political machine keeps running. Ken Azaro, all these other scums. Barbara Sagaski, the Republican, intervened from making a decision to continue the recall. Absolutely disgusting right here. Now, why is it that newborns are a very, very small share of the non-Hispanic white population? Why is that? 37.5% are non-Hispanic white. Explain this. Culinary union has a lot to do with it. Utah is very, very high. They never explain that, folks. I mean, I don't know about you, but these states are just lost. Look at this. And, and, and they push, oh, yeah, we're for immigrants. So, yeah, so the immigrants can come in and say, yeah, we can be victims of 
systemic racism, white supremacy. It's complete disgusting nonsense. Absolutely, give me a break. And I wanna show you, I wanna go back right here. Look, they blocked me, all this other nonsense. They never say, mention anything about the fact that these casino elites are profiting from these COVID shutdowns. They never explain about how the income inequality is high. They don't put their anxiety and frustration at the Murins, the Goldsteins, Wins, Adelsons, all these other people out there. They are an illegitimate union. Wake up, people. Think about it. Look, these are the scums who are pushing for Joe Biden. I missed this protest because it was really last minute. Unbelievable. Won't they regret their vote for Joe Biden uh, over his actions? No, because they're scums. They don't take responsibility. But it's our duty to wake the masses up. Look at these ugly piece of trash neighborhoods that they help create. And they're pushing for this immigration bill that gives a half a million dollars for illegal immigrant alien lawyers. All this corruption right here. Look at this. The culinary union failed to deliver betrayal to Golden Knights fans, the mob, MGM, all of these, they're, 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 they're fighting for all of this. It's absolutely disgusting right here. Business license complaint form. Why isn't the culinary talking about the selling expired goods? Think about it. I can show you one of my friends, he doesn't speak English very, very well, but he talked. Look at this sign that I posted right here. Look at this massive demographic change. Culinary union lies all the time. Betrayal of families in Nevada. They don't care about families employees. It's a big show. We need to unmask culinary union for corruption. They only want political power. There you go. You really need to understand how dirty and disgusting this union really is. They have a track record of promoting scum politicians by using anti-white identity politics. All they have to do is just essentially moan and complain about, ooh, we're being oppressed. Well, then why the hell are you coming here? And have they ever told you what makes the United States the country great enough that you want to move here? Of course they don't, because then people will wake up and understand that it is a country that is built and settled, established because of Europeans just like the mass immigration that's coming in from Africa and Asia into Europe. And speaking of anti-white, many of the casino elites are white. Why don't they go after them, the powerful elites? They wanna give you the stance that, ooh yeah, that they are essentially pro-worker and the other candidates are anti-worker. Yeah, all this other nonsense. And they use that to build this disgusting, despicable machine same machine they gave us Sizzlag, Masto, Rosen, and of course Brian Sandoval. How come you don't you there was no legitimate challenger for him in his 2014 recall? And since they have so much power along with the rigging, with these other NGOs, it seems like they have the sole decide factor with the campaign contributions of what goes on in every election. And this means that there's less power to the people. This along with the one county monopoly, which gives central control, where you have 75% of the population in the state living in Clark County, this all gives power and control to their cronies. Not to mention, it's not just against re certain Republicans, it's also against certain Democrats. A lot of Democrats who ran Nevada races could not win because of this piece of crap union. They haven't interviewed folks like Tulsi Gabbard. Think about it. I mean, she's all for pro workers. Why haven't they done it? Because she's not part of their agenda. She's not part of their goal, their establishment. And the fact is, these scumbag politicians know over the course of years they're losing the masses in terms of support. They're failing the people. So, what do they have to do? They have to mobilize these NGOs, these fake labor unions, import as many people as they can to fill in the deficits. This is part of the Harry Reid disgusting machine. And we know how dirty a lot of these culinary backed politicians are. Have I told you about B. Duran? I'll make about a video about her later on. 
I visited her home to talk about the issues of gas prices because it was in the blue packet that allows us to connect our state legislatures. The woman living in the house invited me into the place and sit down and talk. And guess what? 40 days later, I got a visit from Metro Police. Folks, this is how scum and piece of crap these people are. They're using the police against people who stand up to, against themselves. Not just the politicians, the private sector too. This was absolutely disgusting what they did and they need to be held accountable. All I did is follow law and visit the house based on the packet, what they offered. We know these people are in bed with Jim Murin. It's a gigantic mob operation, but it's the same mob that it's connected to the deep state, the Wall Street elite, and they're backed by these scumbag media elites. And in order to do that, they have to pander illegal aliens, non-citizens, TPS, and we see how many of the bills, they keep aligning with one another, like the anti-gun bill, SB 452, which the only people that support it was culinary and MGM. This is all you need to know, the right to return bill, which was kind of giving culinary union fake hope because they wanted to make sure, oh, okay, yeah, we supported the shutdown, you lost your job, but we're doing everything we can to make sure you, you get your vote back again. These are the scumbags who supported the politicians, along with the large casino elites, that allowed the shutdowns to continue, the mask mandates, which is no, no evidence that they've been working, they're pushing for the vaccines, and we know all of this is gonna backfire because the truth in, is increasingly growing about the vaccines. The more they're pushing this, the worse it gets from them. And worst of all, the casinos haven't been able to hire as many people because they're not profiting. They're not getting enough revenue as much as they can. The truth is spreading and they're losing their members. How do you think they're gonna continue their membership? A lot of people are not fans of them, even people who are members of them, even these non-English speaking people. Remember, you don't wanna divert your anger against these people. You wanna divert your anger against these elites, these leaders, along with these NGOs that provide people a false image. Ooh, yeah, these organizations are about the community, but once you look at their funding, it explains everything that's their whole goal is to pump as many immigration to not only get the cheap labor but to promote the politics to change the laws and of course you have some people like myself along with my persian relatives who earn more who pay higher taxes to support their government programs because we know a lot of these people disproportionately depend on government handouts either them or their relatives so essentially the corporation doesn't have to pay a lot of benefits and regardless of whatever crap happens they don't face the responsibility or the consequences. When are people finally gonna stand up, rise up, and not only fight against the mandates, the laws, and all this other nonsense, not just fight against these politicians who are merely puppets, but to fight these organizations, these fake labor units, these multinational corporations that push themselves, who are pulling the strings. Until we have a mass protest in front of the Culinary Workers Union, then that is when things are really gonna change. They need to go, they're done, they're finished, and it's time, and I'm really glad to see the masses wake up and protest in the street. There's another one tomorrow in front of the stadium. Join me live, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna make sure that we get up, we rise up, and we get justice once for all. And hopefully we will look back in history and see how disgusting things were. Thank you so much. Please share, subscribe, 